Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I love it. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Marketwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down five, Nasdaq's off 115, SP's down 15 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $15.50, $17.53 an ounce. We have silver down 17 cents, $21, two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off 35 cents, $79, 73 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note, flat 112.09, 30 year flat 125.13, but not King Dollar. King Dollar is not flat. King Dollar is up 913 ticks. Trading 107, 840, Euro 102, Yen 142.08, and the British pound is at 118 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we had a sideways move, folks, with light volume. So we'll see whether that's how it's going to trade out the rest of the week. Uh, maybe vacation's already started, man. You know, 34 million shares, that's nothing. You know, uh, Friday, you know, we went higher with 92 million. That's what you want to see. So sideways, it's not the end of the world, you know, bottom line. Uh, we take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. Whatever the three Qs, it, there's divergence here. And inside the three Qs, you're down uh, 250. Now, the three Qs are inside the 284.60 level, folks. So once you get back inside the lighter, the lower range again, it's like it's game for the bottom of the range. You know, it's, it's, it's close because we're only, right now, you're only 75 cents inside of that bottom range. A, a little bit more, but it's that's not a lot. You go another dollar and a half, and then that's saying get that that gap's going to be wide open. That gap there is a two sixty eight, and you got to remember that in a vacation week like we have, this market you can push this market, you know, bottom line wherever they want to push it. So it's going to be wherever they think the trend can make the most amount of money in the least amount of time. Uh, we take a look at the gold contract. Gold's pulling back. And you, it's into its strength, so that's telling me that gold can actually pull back to the 1720 mark, and right now you're at 1753. As you can see, when we broke top side, you had wide price spread, you had volume behind the move. This is on a smaller scale because what we did do with gold is that it went straight up from 1632 to 1806. You know, so when we take a look at this, and we just say, okay, what's a 0.382? Well, 0.382 gets you down to uh, 1738 and a 50. Is going to get you uh, to basically 1718. The strength, the beginning of that strength, is where I got that first number. And it's about King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. And, you know, what's happening out here today, folks, is that this market is acting really well for King Dollar going up 906 ticks. But I, I, my take is all over the place. Uh, the bottom line, you really have a slow market. You know, so if we take a look at King Dollar, you're going to see a 0.382 retracement to the upside gets you into this um, 108, 3, 322. Now, the way to, hey, we'll see what happens. My take, it looks like to me it's going to break it. And this will be the week, week, week to break it. You break it, you can get all the way up there to the 109, 24, and then we see what happens, man. That's the 50% retracement of the last move down, you know, and... You know, what you did have, it's, you know, it's pretty amazing. So what you also had just on this bounce, you know, the CTFC, all the shots and long as you reported on Friday, and everyone was pi piling into the dollar on a shot position in the futures market, folks. So the bottom line is it totally makes sense that we're going to get some kind of a bounce out here. You had um, Disney brought back Bob Biger for two years, uh, see if they can straighten that mess out. Uh, bottom line, it got a good, nice pop up. It's up five and a half percent. Now, if we bring Disney back, because we were benchmarking this on the March 2020. Yeah, see, that's what it did, man. That March 2020. Did it ever get to the low? Let's see. The low was. So the March 2020 low was 79.07, about to 85. Okay. 
So but now, now what you have with Disney, okay, and you get a lot of equities that have been getting into that bar. Now the real question is going to be, can you get any strength as you move higher? And I expect, you know, this will move higher. I mean, when you get a big change of leadership like that, um, you know, Iger was the one that developed Disney Plus, you know, so, you know, we'll see if many of these uh, films and other things that were going to be on Disney Plus basically get rerouted there again, because when the other guy came in, the bottom line, he's, you know, he, he pushed Disney Plus out, but they stopped a lot of different films that were out there. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you have uh, Amazon's down two bucks. Disney's the big one. That's up five and a half. We have, uh, oh, let's go to, we got to go to Tesla because <laughs> Musk is just in the middle of a total mess over Twitter. And there it is. It's affecting Twitter. I'm sure that the, 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 <laughs> the shareholders of Tesla are going to be going, are you kidding me, man? And the chart is saying that now Tesla, okay, so what's that number? Uh, that number's, yeah, man, we're, I mean, we're at 168. You're going to get a little support at 166. But this, this, this broke everything, man. This is telling me that this thing's going to go down to like $64 right there, which would be just a mind blow, man. I mean, it wouldn't be a mind blow because we know how much equity that, you know, Musk sold up at the 400 level, never mind where it's at like 100 plus right now. I mean, he would just kept laying it out. And that has, that is, that's going to be a, you know, a case at MIT, Harvard, one of those uh, about pushing paper out at high levels um, and then making a bad decision buying Twitter. But that's his problem. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down four. NASDAQ's off 114. S&P's off 14 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.